Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, And Punched Out Thursday, with Kathy, Krista, myself, and Dorothy. And I am going to scrap this picture of my grandson when he was little at McDonald's, just meet Ronald McDonald. And I googled Ronald McDonald, and this came up, and it's one of those kits you buy, um... And it, it has all the pieces, or else it's already put together. I'm not sure. It was on Pinterest, but it said eBay, so they were selling them on eBay. So I didn't want to look at it too much since, well, I knew mine wasn't going to be anything like it because theirs was looked like you know it was cut on a electronic machine. But I wanted to do mine that way, so I wouldn't have to do the mouth. <laughs> That mouth, I thought, that's just going to be a mess. I'm, not, I'm just not sure how it's going to look when I get done if I do the mouth. But I'm using my Google eyes this week. Instead of layering and making the eyes, I thought I'd use the Google eyes since the eyes look so predominant in the other little clown. Hers was those teardrop eyes, though, or his, whoever made it. Theirs was a teardrop eye. And mine is not going to be a teardrop eye because I don't have nothing to make the teardrop with. But I am layering it and I thought, well, I can use my Google eyes and I can get more layers in that way. And still have the black on the outside. Well, I'm going to um, put the little shading for the iris with my zig marker because they're blue but not completely blue. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and highlight it with the white and wish I had done it later. And I should have done the iris with the white too, but I didn't even think about it at the time. But yeah, I've got to make the eyes match and it would have been better for them to match once I had them on the face <laughs> and to get my, my highlights to match. But I didn't even pay attention from one to the other as it was. But if they'd been on the face, I might have. We're just saying maybe I might have. I'm doing the eyelashes now. And I'm going to do these a little bit different. Uh, that sample one that's um, electronic. It looks like they took a pen and made each eyelash one at a time on there. And I'm not going to do it that way, but I'm not going to do it exactly the same as I usually do it either. Just to show another way, because somebody was talking about how hard it was to get them on there. And this way, they more to the side and not not as spread out is, is what I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain it. And I did have the stabilizer on on this, but it was zoomed in so much half the stuff was missing when we were trying to watch it so you're gonna have I, I shouldn't have zoomed in i should have left it up there but i thought well i'll zoom in for the eyes guess what i forget to zoom out for a while yeah so it's more than the eyes but i thought well jiggly because of the zooming it's probably better than um zoomed out maybe maybe so you could see them closer up but course it would have helped if I'd remember to zoom out sooner I'm not going to remember till I'm making the zipper on his little outfit I think that's when I remember and zoom out and then everything's back to steady normal well I don't know about normal <laughs> I but yeah everything will be back to normal I don't know about steady either but I got that one longer than the other so I'm trying to trim it up <laughs> And still keep some points on the end of it. And see how off the two eyes are. Like I said, if I had waited till I put them on the face, I might have done a few things a little bit differently. But I didn't make one in advance. I was kind of winging it as I went. It's a last minute video. So yeah, I'll be up late tonight <laughs> making this video. I had several other things to do and I've been doing them. And then I, it hit me the day was Wednesday. I had to get my punched out Thursday done. So there was no sample. And I'm going to use this red here. And I'm cutting that one off because I wanted to use it and make sure I had one that was 12 inches. And that's why it's cut off. 
but yeah see i'm already cutting on it and i thought well i don't know how much 12 inch i'm gonna have left no telling where i'm gonna cut at and yeah it would have been nice if i zoomed out but just think if this was cropped to make it steady <laughs> You, you wouldn't see half of what I was doing. I could see barely the top of that ring there. I mean, barely. It's just a tiny bit of blue. And here I had a plan to go ahead and cut the hair right then as I was cutting around because that's the back side. And I figured I'd have the pencil mark on the back side. And I was listening to the TV at the same time. And it was the news. And I thought... I can't believe I forgot to start the hair. <laughs> but I just cut with the scissors. I could have used my little cutter and just done the same thing. But yeah, now I'm cutting the hair. And I thought about using my scallop dies. But the ones I have are embossed too. So I decided just do it by hand. And I didn't want it really even. So I wanted his hair to look like it's a comb over <laughs> instead of... The regular Ronald McDonald. And Ronald had this round thing on his shirt. I forgot it. I was watching the video while I was doing it. And I thought, I forgot. And he, I thought, well, he looks fine without it. He don't need it. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to have that round circle. The actual costume, I think, has uh, the arches on it. The golden arches. But the one that's for sale, don't have. And I guess, you know, they couldn't copy the golden arches. And he really don't look that much like Ronald other than the outfit with the zipper and the yellow and the um, sleeves being striped and everything. You can tell it's Ronald, but it's not, you know, it's a baby Ronald. It's a little kid Ronald. It's not a, the grown-up Ronald. But I was trying to make the sad eyes. That's why I got the eyelashes hanging down since I don't have no teardrop eyeballs um oh this is the nose and i did make it with my one inch oval punch and all the insides of the eyes the blue and then i have i have the blue and then the white black let's see the blue and the black is three quarters of an inch and then i did the oval and it was the one inch and this one's the smaller oval big punch that's stamping up but i tried to do the white with the one inch circle i mean the three quarters inch circle like i did with the eyeballs but it didn't quite catch the edges so i had to use the oval on it but yeah there's his nose and like i said i'm gonna skip the mouth they didn't he looked fine so i'm gonna leave him off leave his mouth off and he has yellow on and a white collar red zipper and then the striped sleeve so that's what i'm doing here and i'm making him big in case y'all hadn't noticed because it's zoomed in <laughs> he's gonna be big kind of like a cut files what my idea was but uh of course it isn't it's paper pieced instead but uh yeah it's that's the zipper part and I didn't cut it straight the first time, so I had to do it twice. I'm just going to put dashes here. It's not really a zipper, <laughs> but I think it's a zipper on his actual outfit. Oh, I remembered. Look at that. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was beginning to think when I was watching it and pulling out the, double, uh, the repetitive stuff that uh, maybe I forgot to zoom out after all. I couldn't remember. Oh, and here I noticed his nose was crooked. Well, maybe not crooked. It was off-center, though. So I thought I'd center it just a little bit better. And I thought I'd better do it while I was thinking of it, because I might forget. And I'm going to do the collar here, and I'm just folding it over so I can get both sides the same. And it's just a little pointed, like a dress shirt collar. And so I'm just going to try to copy that and make him a collar there. Nothing fancy at all. And just put that down there. And after I get it down, when I'm doing the sleeves, I think it was, I was doing something else. I thought, oh, I should have put some blue ink on that, on the edges to give it some dimension. So I try to do it, and I get some on the yellow. So then I'm going to have to pull out my sanding eraser and 
saying that, well, I rubbed too hard, so I went to the white core of the paper. <laughs> so I can't win for losing on this. But, uh, yeah, there's his head, and I'm just going to tilt it a little bit because, you know, it always gives it a little bit of character if you tilt the head instead of keeping it straight. And I'm going to do the sleeves, and of course with the sleeves, you make sure you use the same thing you use for the body. And I'm just double checking that it is. I cut it and then I thought, what if I picked the wrong one up? But no, I didn't. And so see, the sleeves fit since I use the same size. And it's red stripes, so I'm going to lay them down and then I'm going to just draw around it. Just And I, of course, I had to have one one direction and one in the other. And I'm going to draw around it and cut them out. And then I'm going to cut the stripes, and then that way I'll have stripes to go on each one of them. I guess I could have just cut a 12-inch thing and went across there, but I was trying to save myself some trimming. thought if I just glued them down on there, I wouldn't have so much trimming. And see, here's where I goof. <laughs> and I get that blue on there, and I have to see right there's one I did. I tried to rub it right off. Didn't work. So y'all know it didn't work. So I got the sander thing. And then just a tiny bit of the white showing. But I don't think it's too noticeable. Maybe they'll think he's wore his costume quite a few times. And it's just getting worn out. Other than the white cardstock. Everything I use is older. I mean it's actually from the stash. The paper I'm going to use in the background later. It's really old. It's uh, really thin. White on the back. And no date, name of it, or anything that I got from my local scrapbook store when I first started scrapping. But I'd used it for another layout that is scheduled to go up in September. And I had it left over, so I'm going to use it for this one. And there it is. That's my scrap. It's a big size scrap, though. And it has a matching piece with circles, and I still have some of that scrap here, but... I thought I'd use the stripe and kind of make an awning thing up there at the top. So I am getting using my scallop punch and just going right along there. And it's going to get layered on top of that. And then I'm going to put a strip of the awning, the same, the striped, the striped, I'm going to put it on there too. So because I cut it kind of wide. And I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead. And here I'm cutting those while I had it out. I'm going to use them later. In a, well, in another minute or two. It's not going to be very long. I'm going to use them as layers on there. But I wanted some more red on here. And after I thought about his hair being red, I thought maybe I should have got more blue on here. But the red's okay. It turns out all right. And I put the faux stitching on here since... I didn't really want to stitch since I'm doing this last minute thing. And it looks fine as faux stitching on this one. Since it does kind of look like a cartoon. But I'm putting that red strip at the top and the bottom both. And then I am going to add faux stitching to both of them. My picture, I'm going to mat it in the yellow and then the red. And the red is just almost too little. Well, there's more red. But where I cut it off at, I mean, it was barely big enough. So it's a very thin red frame on the outside. And see how I'm just going to snuggle it in like everybody does the cut files. Since I went to the trouble of making him extra big. And I'm going to use my Happy Day stickers, the blue ones. I'm actually using the blue ones. I love it when I can use the blue ones. I don't use them as often. I'm going to use them for my title, and my title is just going to be I'm Loving It. You know, that's on the was on the commercials all the time. I don't think I've heard it in a while, though. And here's where I realized I did not think ahead. I don't know what I'm going to embellish my layout with. This is as far as I got in my thoughts. So I went and found some things, old things that I've had a while, basically. And these are close to my heart. And I tried to attach that little circle down there. And it says Superstar. And it wouldn't attach with nothing. I cut all that out because I am ended up using a staple. 
But then out of the same package, I got that one that's over there on the left that says Dream. Because Casey is really looking forward to this. I mean, he was so excited. His daddy works for McDonald's. And he's like district director, whatever. But he goes to the ones here in town a lot. And there's times he's took Casey with him. And so he was telling him Ronald McDonald was coming and he was wanting to go. And they, I mean, he was so excited about it. He gets there and he gets all bashful. <laughs> he didn't want to sit on his lap. He didn't really want to do much of nothing because he got all bashful. Same way with Scooby-Doo. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, so he was dreaming about seeing him. But when reality got here, he wasn't there as happy with it. And I started to stick that cup there behind the dream. But, I, boy, that's three. One's puffy and the two's rubber that's not paper or anything. So I, I want to use that cup somewhere else. So I'm going to put it in the cluster with these little words. And all they say is sunshine and happiness. And they're going in the upper left-hand corner. I did put cheese on Ronald's head. And it was one of those puffy ones that the camera came with. It was on the same one as the camera in their paper house, I believe. I believe those are paper house. And But yeah, I was trying to find things that was the, this color that I could use with this. And I used the eyeballs on that little thing down there. And he's looking up at the superstar like, I don't think so. <laughs> so I thought those eyes will look cute there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them there. You know, when you're desperate, you're desperate. And I put an arrow down there because I have the black on the camera. There's a little bit of black up there, sunshine and happiness. And the cup, there's some black. So I wanted to repeat that a third time. But that's it. That's my layout. I'll have the links to the other guys doing Punched Out Thursday. So you can see what they did with their punches. And I hope you, and see, that. See, look at that. I'm loving it. The apostrophe fell off. But I fixed it. You will see it in the full picture at the end that I did fix it. I went, it stuck to my finger. I was wondering where it came from. And then I noticed it when I was doing the video. So I ran back in there, fixed it, and took a picture. But I didn't change out all the other ones. But anyway, check out the other guys and see what they do with their punches. I hope y'all are pulling your punches out and using them and make, uh, making something on your layout. Even just the scallop border, it adds to your layout. See, right up there, that scallop border. And there's my apostrophe back. But yeah, uh, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. And thank you for the wonderful comments you leave. But have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.